Hello and welcome to Drams for Dummies. This is episode 6 or 5 or 7 or 14, depending on how I've cut them up. And also we're still in the time where uh, they're not released yet and we don't have a channel at all. So we're just doing silly things and putting a camera in front of us for now. And hopefully we'll get them going here pretty soon. Got a lot of things going on today here at the house. It's a sun Saturday and uh, it's fall. And, uh, you know, when you're recording at home, things pop up and so this is my little time block my little hour I was gonna record a couple of things and old uh, neighbor Ron decided to get up on his roof with his leaf blower as he does multiple times a year um, and uh, walk around blowing the leaves so we've got that in the background and then his uh, pit bull uh, runs around in the yard and barks at him uh, obsessively uh, probably because he's worried that he's gonna fall off the roof which will happen one day uh, so we've got the leaf blower, we've got the barking. Uh, Twenty-year-old Cheetah dis understands and can feel when things are getting ready to happen, so she decides that she's going to start having a tantrum. I thought she was going to make an appearance today um, because I was going to hold her, you know, thunder jacket style, but she decided two minutes ago to walk herself to her shelf, and so she may stay calm. Um, as you can see, and I just said, the, the motivation for this was yesterday I got this early times and this is something that's you know been around a while but it, it, you know as you know I'm in Kansas City and I'm in Missouri and we get different things than, than even Kansas and Missouri has some tougher laws so I don't see early times a lot and it's one of those things that if you know you know kind of thing right people talk about for 25 bucks this is a fantastic pour but then you start getting so it's kind of one of, it's like my old granddad 114, you know, it's like, shh, don't tell everybody that this is actually as good as a lot of more expensive bottles. But I don't see it in Missouri, but also then there's the debate about this, this top here, right? Because Brown Foreman sold to Sazerac in 2020, and if, I, if I'm not mistaken, and please correct me in the comments, right? Um, the Brown Foreman had the black cap. And then Sazerac has this metal sleeve that's more of a kind of a blue-gray cap. So this is how you differentiate, differentiate between it's being bottled and distilled by Sazerac. But Sazerac was still using rumored brown Foreman distillate and still might be using some brown Foreman distillate in these blends. So you'll see people talk about these that are real, that are real aficionados on earlier early times. And they talk about the difference, and they were better with the blacks, or they're better with the grays, or they're better with the, with the, you know, maybe it's a blend right now. So what are we even getting? You know, maybe in a year or two, it's a different product. Um, but it, so, but I tried it yesterday for the first time, and and just on a, just a fast drink, not doing anything scientific, I thought it was pretty dang fantastic for for the cost. Um, I, you know, I love Ben Holiday here in in Missouri, west of Missouri, around Kansas City. This is their bottle and bond at 100 proof. Theirs is six years. Early times is a four-ish year, so we're four plus. Um, and then of course the Heaven Hill, and this is a highly debated bottle because it's darn near allocated. It's starting to be seen a lot more. You know, in my, in my store that I talk about all the time, Bubbles, they've got cases of it right now. So somehow they've either ramped up their production or something has changed in the distribution. And these are, at least in Missouri and Kansas, finding themselves here a lot more, which is great. But it's an expensive bottle. I want to say, I want to say 50, I think, 45, 50. You know, this one is also like a 45, 50 because, I, and mostly, you know, I'm going to always go to Holiday's defense. You know, they have less, they have less juice right now, and it's more rare and it's more special as far as just the limited version of it. So, you know, who knows what happens if, as they ramp up production on the price? But it's always going to be a craft, small batch kind of deal so you're paying for you got to pay a little bit extra for that sort of special handcrafted quality it's heaven hill here why is this 50 it's a good question but it is seven years so it's the most expensive of the three and then 25 so i was just thought to myself i happen to have a few really good bottled and bonds let's do a fast little uh bottled and bond bourbon battle and see how these turn out let's just let's just rock let's just rock and roll people Put your comments as I'm swirling and twirling glass one. Put your comments below. Have you had any of these? What are your thoughts? If you've had all three, give me your prediction right now. One, two, three. Which ones? What, what are we going to rank here? How, how would you rank these off of your experience? Or if you've had two of the three, 
and you're just gonna and you're just gonna do what we all we you know we all do is go well I think and then I think and then this one I've, that's garbage because it's something I've never heard of before from Missouri so I'm gonna make that third you know whatever your system is put your put your comments there write what your system is write what your experience is write what you're thinking uh, right now on a, as you're watching this video how's your life going you know again this this is gonna be a very community focused uh, group so. This is a moment where if you're commenting and you're interacting with me, I'm going to interact with you. So I'll, you'll hear back from me. This is a great time as I'm swirling and twirling to talk about. Please hit the subscribe because we're going to do more and more and more of different videos. But again, they're going to be very – once we get this community rolling, this is going to be a very community-focused page. So your input's going to influence what I'm doing here. Your input's going to maybe be on here or you're going to be on here, right, Just especially my patrons, right? So subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when we pop something up. It should be about once a week, but then we'll also start doing some lives. And, uh, yeah, throw a comment down there, too. And there's a link somewhere around here for, for the Patreon. If I would love your support. This is brand new. Uh, at this moment, the idea of even, I don't even, I've never I've even set up a Patreon. So by the time you're seeing this, I will have. And there will be levels, and there will be tiers, and there will be access benefits. But right now, it's just all... It's in it's in the ether. So, all right, here we go. Sweeter, a little richer, still not real complex. We're talking about hundred proof, so you know. But you have and you have a four year, but the seven should be richer, and then six, and you have different mash bills. Yeah, there's there's layers in this that are really nice. Um, and again, you, you know, you'll hear me talk. I'm not going to give you good notes. I'm going to start stop trying to even give great notes as far as like, and I was talking to my wife last night about it. By the way, she's going to be on an episode here very soon. She might be the next guest, by the way. Um, but she, And I was talking to my brother uh, when he was on. I feel like people with that kind of whimsical brain, that kind of creative, there's something right, I don't know if it's a right brain, left brain, type A, type B, I don't know what it is. When you smell something that you can kind of, it transports you to a scene or to a memory, um, and she was talking, we were drinking, oh, a Middle West uh, rye that I'm gonna, it's going to be in a video here in a second, um, the next video. Uh, and she was doing that. And, and I was like, I can't do that. And so I'm going to not even try to make it up. And I can't pull great notes. I'll just tell you what I'm getting. And this is the point of Dreams for Dummies is this is probably you too a lot of times at the bar. You're like, someone, your buddy's telling you, you smelling, you know, shoe shoe polish and you're like yeah shoe polish and you're like i'm just like it can i just drink it <laughs> so but there's a there's definitely some a fruitiness in this you'd be kind of in that oranges and tangerines um they're bright not full citrus i mean i got i, I did say orange but you're not getting super sour super bright um but yeah definitely real caramely very sweet, very nice, very fall. This is a really nice one. I like this a lot. Hmm. I'll take a sip here because that's going to open things up too. Basic, nice, solid, easy drinking. Pretty much what a good bottle and bond should be, right? Just. It's not offending anything, but it's also not lighting anything up. It's not maybe giving me much of a ride. It's very kind of basic. It's nice basic. A little more on the finish than the palette, but yeah, it's fine. I'm gonna, but that's a first drink too. So now let's see, let me see what it did to the, to the nose. Kind of brought out a little bit of a, a turpentine-y kind of a chemical-iness that I don't like, but we'll see as these kind of stack up side by side. <laughs> very mellow, very smooth, very light. There's a richness down in there, but it's very subdued. Yeah, really nice. Nicer than that one. This would be the position right now if I was gonna do this. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. I've never done it this way, but just real fast. This felt really good in the nose, and it kind of got a little stringent. And then the palette, and then the, in the finish, it was just a little light and watery. This one feels richer and fuller in the palette. 
um, and the finish have, was a lot of fun. But this is just a quick first pass. I'm going to make a few rounds at this because, again, with this, this new world that I'm experiencing of switching things around and moving things and knowing that they all play different off each other, right? So this one makes this one taste a certain way and vice versa. So if you mix them around, then I think you get to more of a reality. So that'll be fun for me that I've broken the one, two, three rigidity of that. So, oh man, see now wherever, I feel like I kind of know, I feel like just off color, which I know. So Jason of the Ma of Mash and Drum um, used the black gl black glens the other day on a blind and I was like, that's a fantastic idea. You can't see the color and you can't see your stickers underneath if you're, if you're trying to, you know, through the glass. Um, <clears throat> But it's kind of disconcerting because I like to see it swirl and it's just part of the fun is kind of seeing it. So I, there will probably be a day where I'll have some sort of a colored glen just to make this a little more scientific. But I try not to really look at the color and make that analysis. But anyway, the point is I think I might know what this is off the color, but its nose was a lot better than I remember. So we'll see. Acrobat was just up updated successfully. So... If you guys were worried about that, I know you've been commenting about that in prior episodes. Hey, is your Acrobat updated? It is now, so that's going to make this the rest of the Saturday a lot more relaxing for me. It's it's good. It's it's deep, but it's not complex. It's like got a lot of depth in it. It feels rich. This is good though. There's a lot going on in that one. That's a lot of fun. I don't know. I don't know. Let's say we have. Let's say this is loaded right now. Mm -hmm. That could be. So let me do a little cleanse here. Let me come back this way. In theory, this is my third place right now. <laughs> There's a savory note in here. Little barbecue sauce is coming through. This is so fun. All right, I think this might be what I do now with the blinds. Just flip them around over and over again because they're all different every time. This, see, you're, I'm the dummy. You're on, the, you're on the journey with me. So, and if you guys comment and give me some crazy, better ideas, I'll try that. You know, stand on your head and pour it in your left nostril. Rich and savory, a little spicy. Let me just go nose to nose here. I will say I'm appreciating that they're all opening up a lot. I felt like the very first sniff, I was like, that's really flat. I like this spicy kind of savory barbecue sauce thing, but it's also kind of weird. But it's good. Ah, I'm hungry. Eh, and now I'm getting an astringency in this one. <laughs> okay, so now we've got like barbecue sauce, kind of a leathery, oaky thing going on here. And then this thing came in as like a grapey, fruity bomb. Oh, God, that's so good. That's crazy. I think this is first on the nose. It's just, this is so, just like a toffee, it's just like, it, it just, it, it's, it's, I, I say this a lot in the videos because I haven't had anything crazy yet on my videos, but it's so traditional, it's just smooth and nice, it's a little watery, but it does have a viscous, it does kind of, a viscousness, it does kind of fill up a little bit, but it doesn't, it's very one note in the palate, but it's a very nice, rich note, if that makes sense, so it doesn't feel like nothing, but it's not like taking me on any kind of a ride. But I like it a lot. This one might be going to third. I don't know. This is it's got a sourness in there that I don't love. Which makes me kind of think I know what it might be again. But it's good. It's got layers, which I like. This is the the rich, kind of smooth, velvety, caramely, toffee feel. This is the little bit more of the oaky, 
a little spiky, but it's fun. And I usually like a little more fun, so now I'm really debating myself. God dang it. <laughs> can this just be a clear third so I can stop going back and forth? It's rich. I've lost that barbecue off of it. It's now kind of a coffee, chocolatey thing going on. Damn it. I might have to shut this video off and start over because I feel like I've completely lost myself in these things. The finish I don't love falls off. I could make a case that they could all be first place in the nose depending on which time I hit them. It's got a solid palette, but the finish keeps, feels a little harsh. I already feel like I've got my final, like, what I'm going to say before I give my review. There's just nothing offensive about that. It's just... It's just solid. I just blow it on myself. It's got legs for days. <laughs> They've all got good legs. They're all running. Which is a good sign. <laughs> There's this sourness, this sour milk thing going on that I don't love. But it's got layers, which is which I like. I like that this one makes me think, but I don't love maybe what it's doing overall. Fine. Good in the palette. Fairly nothing in the uh, finish. Hmm. This one could move up if it can better if it can better the palette and finish for me. I don't know. It's maybe that. Alright, is this my order? So let's see what it did. In third place... Mother. Damn it. Ben Holiday. Damn it. So, sorry Ben, today you got third. Are you kidding me? Second? First. But that's why you do blinds, because, yeah, I mean, cost-wise, this should be first. Hype-wise, this should be first. Allocated-wise, this should be first. Age statement-wise, this should be first. So it worked out. Like, it, 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 would, it should have gone one, two, three if it's based on price and age. But this winning actually makes me kind of happy. Because I was, I've been, I've been meh on it when I first tr got it and tried it. I was by itself. I was like, this is pretty good. And then I drank it on something else, or maybe next to something else. And that sour note. I'm not gonna talk about that sour note. I guess it was in this one. Um, I get that. I'm starting to get that in Heaven Hill sometimes. That kind of sour, grainy. I don't know. Note. Um, so I'm very. And then this one was so good yesterday that I'm surprised. So this was in third at one point, and then it came back to second. Who the hell knows? And then, you know, if I, if I did the exact same video in an hour or tomorrow, it could be completely different. It's all a crapshoot. It's all subjective. We're all dummies. Who the hell knows? Don't listen to anybody and be like, that's the answer. I'm gonna go buy that now. I will tell you, for 25 bucks, buy this two or two times. So I had two bottles of this to before buying this. I would say that all day long. This, and I didn't score them, right? So maybe I need to start scoring again so I can tell you. This was 0.5 away from this one. As it is, all three of these are good. I think I said that. They're all three non-offensive. They're all three solid. They're all three pretty easy to drink. There's nothing crazy going on. They're all 100 proof, whatever. So you couldn't go wrong with any of these bottles. And I would highly suggest that you get all these bottles because they're all good drinks. For sure. And if you haven't tried them, buy it and try it. So there's nothing in here I'd be like, duh. Z -z -z -z. The only thing that could have happened probably in this blind is that this got third. And then I'd be like, save your money. Don't even buy this thing. So let me know how you, how you like this video. Let me know your thoughts on these bourbons. Please subscribe. Please hit the notifications. If you really, really, really want me to keep going and you want to um, help uh, this process, then uh, be a Patreon. Patreon. A patron on Patreon, it's confusing, 
and uh, like I said, you'll have access, um, <clears throat> and and it'll get cooler and cooler. So, love you guys. Thank you so much for for spending time with me, and listening to me ramble, and listening to my music, and watching me drink bourbon. Hopefully, you enjoyed some bourbon too. I need a fun little catchphrase here at the end. I don't have one. You're awesome. Do keep doing what you're doing. Bye, guys. Well, because I put my Spotify up at one point so I don't look at myself, then I have no idea what's going on in the frame. So this guy was over, nope, this guy was over here. So as I was pointing to things, that was uh, not effective. Here is a visual representation of the order. That's why I don't do the camera, because I get confused. First, second, third. All good. First, second, third. If I'm already buzzed at 3.33 on a Saturday, and I'm going to do another one of these right now, what's, what do you think? What's the... Predict in the comments what the uh, end result of that is. Eh, I don't know. Bye, guys.